Well, there were like zero mosquitoes at the uh, goshawk where I was earlier, and then I walked into the forest here to look for great gray owls, and blam, it was like the attack was on. I made it 30 feet into the woods before I got swarmed by mosquitoes, so had to stop and hose myself down with wonderful chemicals. Okay, I found a great gray owl. That actually was pretty fast. Uh, I, I'm not sure how I spotted it. <laughs> Don't ask. I just glanced and I could see it. It's, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just this like anomaly. It like, it's the perfect color of these trees, but I just, uh, I just noticed something different in the pattern of those trees and uh, stop and look and line it up and it's it's right there. I mean, it's really hard to see. Even looking at it, I can't barely see it, but um, man, <laughs> it's exciting. Uh, it's still quite a ways away. I don't know how far is that? 75 yards in the, in the forest here? But, uh, so I'm gonna get my gear ready and get out and go make some pictures, but see if you can see it. Right there. But that's what I see. That's a great gray owl. And I am freaking stoked. Yeah, I think this is gonna work out great. So now I don't feel bad about leaving the, the goshawk because uh, I found an owl. Awesome. All right, so gear. I, I pulled a little bit of a stunt here on my gear tonight. And I'm trying, I'm gonna keep my eye on the owl so if it decides to fly, I can at least see what direction it's flying and uh, hopefully not lose it. But what I did in anticipation of wanting to film, to shoot more video of the owl, I brought my Fuji X-H1 with a 100 to 400 millimeter lens. And the reason I like that is because I can shoot video with it uh, through the viewfinder. So I can I can track it and follow it. Sorry, I'm trying to do too many things at once here. Um, <clears throat> but I can I can track the owl and follow it like this. Right? And then also because I can get my a nice steady grip and get my head involved here with the eye cup, I, I can shoot nice and steady video with this camera. This is the X-H1 and the Fuji 100 to 400 millimeter lens. So I brought this on a little sling strap so that I could shoot some video of the owl uh, as opposed to just a little snippet here and there. I wanted to shoot a little more video tonight of him or her. We'll see. I might be able to take a guess as to whether this is a he or a she depending on its size. Uh, and then I also brought the D850 with the 300 to f4. So I'm totally loaded up for action, but this is an awesome action lens. I'm gonna shoot this at f4, probably ISO 800, and uh, kind of see what the light level does. I might need to crank that ISO up if it looks like if there's gonna be some flight action. Uh, I wanna maintain a thousandth of a second in here. Um, other than that, I'm gonna get the uh, autofocus mode into group area because that's my favorite for tracking owls in flight. It's awesome. It's like super fast and wonderful. And uh, set this one up for video and hope for the best out here. I've got two cameras, so, well, no, I've got three because I've got the Fuji that I wanna shoot some video of the owl with. I've got the Nikon that I want to shoot stills of the owl with, and then I have this, the video camera, to shoot myself. So I'm, it's ridiculous in here, but that's what I got. Now I got to try and hope that having all this gear, that I can manage it all and get some decent stuff of the owl. Onward, I'm stoked. Let's go. Man, the mosquitoes are eating me even after I dosed up on DEET. Here she goes. Ah, okay, 
I missed that little takeoff shot because I was talking about the mosquitoes and complaining. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't complain. But she moved to a nice perch and it looks like she's hunting already. So, I mean, I gotta try and move around here and not disturb her. Oh, it's gorgeous. I gotta stop and take a picture of this. thermosel because I thought mosquito season was over and I didn't see one mosquito when I was out earlier and it is like thick in here it's awful luckily I have mosquito spray but it doesn't seem to be working very well I think I might put my rain jacket on just to keep the mosquitoes away yep I'm doing it I'm putting my rain jacket on to keep the mosquitoes off of me it's very uncomfortable out here right now Oh, she's so gorgeous. I have to take her picture when she looks at me. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Ooh, I'm gonna get hot in here, but... Would I rather be hot or being eaten by mosquitoes? Eh, it's a tough call. I'm choosing hot. You bit me in the eyebrow. Ugh, I hate, I hate doing that. This stuff is so disgusting, but. <coughs> Sheesh. pretty cluttered in there. Let's go try and find a better one. She's looking a little bit rough. It's like she's molting. She doesn't have that smooth, beautiful look. She's got kind of some feathers misplaced, and I've seen a couple little feathers on the ground, so she's definitely molting. Hang on. I don't know, she looks like she's starting to wake up a little bit. Um, but. So she's blowing out some of the feathers and gonna grow in new ones. So she looks just a little bit rough. Kinda gives her some character though. Uh, but she's a gorgeous bird and she's, she's tolerant of me. I photographed this bird before uh, and I'm pretty sure it's a her. And uh, the mosquitoes are not letting up. But that, that thunderstorm's just rolling out of here so the light's coming back out. And uh, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Because it's getting, the, the trees behind her are lit up. Uh, she's about to fly away, hang on. Nope, she teased me again. She just turned her back towards me here though. So she's facing the other way now. So I might want to relocate. So hold whatever thought I was having. I don't even remember what thought I was having. But hold it, whatever that was. And I'm going to figure out where I want to be next. I don't think this rain and wind's gonna last very long, but the bird just flew for cover a little bit uh, under a tree over there. And I need to reposition myself now. But hopefully she'll come back out here because the perch she was on was really pretty. It would have been a great spot for her to hunt from uh, in this little meadow. So I'm gonna wait out this little rain and hail thing that's happening. 
and then it should be great. Well, I'm not getting much action here. And uh, I still have a little bit of daylight left, so I'm still hopeful that she's going to get active because the temperature cooled down probably at least 10 degrees, maybe a little bit more than that. So I'm totally comfortable in this now. The mosquitoes are, because the wind blew through, the mosquitoes are a little bit better. So everything is kind of coming together here. And uh, hopefully it's a great setup for another like 45 minutes or so of shooting. What is she doing? She's looking over there. Like, she, I don't know what she's looking at, but. Anyway, this is awesome. And uh, I'm gonna continue having a good time out here. This is great. I think that was a nice little piece of footage there. As she took off, she just landed on a nice little perch too. I'm gonna need to reposition the background here is a little bit bright, but she's on a killer perch. So I'm gonna go around and see if I can get a great background before she moves here. just gave me some really killer headshots. The, the light on her was awesome. That's this light filter through the forest. A little bit of an orange glow came across her face. It was really subtle and really beautiful. And she let me get in here with this is a 400 millimeter lens on a crop sensor. So it's a 600 millimeter equivalent. She let me get in real tight on her head for just a gorgeous headshot with that amazing light. Her eyeballs in the light. I'm gonna really like that shot a lot. But other than that, she's just been sitting there. So I've been sitting here waiting for those little moments of light. And I was really excited when that came across her face. But um, she's not doing much. She's not being very active. And the mosquitoes have honed in on my location and are just destroying me. But that's all right. Anytime I'm with an owl, it's still pretty damn cool. There's a hummingbird harassing her a little bit. It's like buzzing around her head. I've never seen that before. She's finally on the move here. She took off and flew. I could not see where she landed. So I have to go find her. The sun went behind the mountains and that's like her cue, I think, to get up and get going. 
So, hopefully I can track her down and uh, catch her hunting. I'm gonna do my best. Where did you go, you sweet little thing? Look, right here is a... Owl feather. Thank mm -hmm. you.